Welcome back everybody. We are finally going to be showing some details on what we're going to be doing on the Ron Stewart 53 Ford pickup uh, build. Now this of course is a full custom truck so it's kind of a creative license to do some unusual things and I'm all about that. I'm excited to do that. And so what I've been doing is kind of uh, preparing a lot of parts. It's been a bit of an annoyance because the problem that you're going to run into here as you um, can see in this picture is not only the bottom of the frame is going to show but the top of the frame is going to show so the chassis has to be flawless uh, bottom and top and so I've been working on that a lot what I've got over here I'll show you where I'm at so the chassis itself this is all Everything that is together is glued together so far. And as you can see here, I've just been going all over the entire frame, filling in sink marks and sanding off ejector pin marks and taking off uh, seams all over this thing to make sure that it's in perfect shape so that I can move on. Because, of course, like I say, both sides of this thing are going to be showing. This side is going to show everything as well. The cab will be covering a small amount in the middle, but everything else is going to show. Something I just realized recently is that the tops of the mufflers are going to show. So I now have to fill those in with putty. And... Um, get those to look good from the top as well. What a unique kit. So here we've got these pivot points for where the um, hydraulic pistons are going to be going in and I'm afraid a lot of that doesn't show on the box so I can't quite show. It shows in the um, instructions but that's what uh, raises the um, trunk, the uh, bed. And those pieces are over here. I'm getting ready to um, you know, we're test fitting a lot of stuff here. Those are going to be glued onto the bottom of the bed. And then they stick into these hydraulic pistons, which hook into that anchor. And there was something else I can't remember, but uh, there's more to it. Uh, anyway, this has been a lot of work. Uh, what else are we going to show? Oh, so the color. So as I had revealed in one, and I, I think in the original video, is that the body itself is going to be black. And nothing has been done on the body. Nothing at all. But since this is such a unique kit, and I have the creative license to be creative on this, we need to get the frame to be basically the star of the show. It's all about the frame on this one. So we are going to paint the frame um, anodized red. And what I've been doing is testing um, base coats, base silver coats, and I tested a lot of them. Uh, as it turns out, all the chrome paint, um, anything that you paint with the chrome paint and then you paint with the anodized uh, red, it just turns it like a dark blood red. It, it um, cancels out the chrome. But the silvers work. And so I've been testing a lot of silvers, and the overall winner is this um, Krylon Max as a base coat for the anodized red. And I'll show you that right here. This is the winner. And that is what the frame is going to look like. whole frame is going to look like that. And it's going to be something else out in the sun, that's for sure. As for the chrome pieces, here's an example of where to go. There's an example of the... Oh, and I was afraid of that. It's not showing up on camera exactly how it looks. But if it is just chrome, this is the way it comes out. Actually quite a bit better. <laughs> Camera's not doing it. And so, um, 
all of the pieces in the kit that are chrome, I left pretty much everything chromed, uh, meaning the all the uh, bright work on the engine and the wheels and the bumpers are all going to be painted straight with the anodized red and that will make them look like this. And you've got to imagine that up against the black body. And by the way, black engine. Okay guys, so here's where we're at now. Um, I've got the other parts prepared and showing where they're going to be. So we're going to have a kind of uh, three different colors. It's going to be a black body with this anodized red um, chassis and uh, components. And then everything that you see here now that's not painted, um, you know, the wheel backs, uh, this uh, ladder bars and everything like that, it's going to be painted in the drive shaft. It's going to be painted in the Ace Chrome paint. And so it's going to be, oh boy, I don't have an example of that right here, but you know what I'm getting at. So it's not going to be chrome chrome. It's just going to be very, very shiny silver. And I think that's going to look good up against the anodized red. And, of course, we've got the engine ready for its, as I explained before, I'm going to be painting the um, painting over all the chrome. All these chrome pieces are going to stay chrome. The wheels, the engine parts, um, everything. And we're going to anodize red over the top of them. And that's what, that's going to look like this piece here. Uh, here. This is a part of the chrome sprue and when it gets sprayed with the anodized red spray paint that's what it looks like and so that's going to be a unique look up against the uh, the anodized over silver paint and up against the uh, black of the engine that should be pretty neat now here I'm getting ready to wire it I've got the uh, beading wire in the distributor there and we're going to try the same thing, just spray the anodized red onto that and see what that looks like. And that is untested, so I'm really, really hoping <laughs> I'll get it all wired and then we'll spray over the whole thing. And of course the black parts will just stay black, we've learned. Um, these little steps for the uh, step bumper or this by the bed, I'm, I'm not going to put those on. I'm going to leave them blank. And the shocks I haven't completely decided what I'm going to do but we'll find out in pretty soon here uh, I'm going to start spray painting a lot of these pieces and then we'll um, start the real assembly so the next scene should be pretty interesting okay and so I will start this scene by saying I'm sorry I didn't keep you up with what I was doing we are fast forwarding way forward because I got so carried away I didn't really realize I wasn't filming everything so we are way far ahead this is what I would call pretty much a completed chassis and here's where we can get a good look at the way the anodized paint looks on chrome um, I do know I do know that there's a chip on the center cap there I will correct that but the uh, look at look on the engine here. That's pretty sharp. And uh, you know, I really like the way the uh, rear tire. Look at that. The rear wheel, I mean. Just that deep anodized look. Uh, yeah, let me talk about a few things. So, uh, as you can see, um, and I will flip it over, everything is glued together here. This is done. And I'll just go over some things here. The um, top, oh yeah, the whole thing about the tops of the mufflers had to be filled and then painted because otherwise if you remember in the previous scene they were hollow but we're going to be able to see things from the top so had to do it um, I did drill out the ends of the 
the tips of the mufflers there. Not the mufflers, but the exhaust pipes. Uh, I left the uh, the spring shocks chrome, and I haven't. <laughs> okay, that's the only thing that's not on there is the uh, front shocks, but they will be chrome. I'll molotel them. They'll be bright, shiny chrome like the rears. Now, um, oh yeah, okay, plug wires. So I decided to leave them the natural colors going with the uh, the whole thing where we've got the anodized red and we've got the chrome paint which is looking like polished aluminum and then we have chrome highlights here and there and that is basically the theme we're going to go with if you saw here the front pulleys I did with Molotow Whoop. Wow. whereas um, the other highlights like the um, headers are the um, that's the ace ace chrome spray paint and um, I just like the contrast between anodized red and polished chrome polished aluminum and chrome so I left these plug wires chrome now you're wondering does such a thing actually exist well it doesn't really really exist if you um, search for it on the internet under chrome plug wires you'll find the braided braided stainless steel or braided aluminum braided something plug wires for a hundred and twenty dollars a set but they do exist you can have shiny plug wires if you want um, you're just gonna have to excuse if you look up really really close there's no braiding but uh, what next oh yeah um, thanks to old Tom, we exchanged pictures back and forth on the, uh, the phone. And he explained what the story was here on these, uh, exhaust. They, as you can see, there are, uh, you know, the two options. And you guys know already, probably, and I was the last one to know. But basically, there's a little solenoid that you can run open headers or you can run exhaust, uh, through the uh, mufflers for uh, driving on the street and uh, that is represented here in the uh, I mean there's no solenoid but oh yeah and a little tip so this was super shiny and nice and I super glued that on there and if anybody's ever wondering can you spray the insta set this is the Insta set. This is the stuff that makes uh, super glue set up instantly the second you spray it on there. And I've never had it react with anything. And this is the first time I have sprayed it on the chrome paint and it reacted. As you can see there, a little farther back, that's the way it's supposed to look. And right there is where it's got some Insta set on it. And then the whole bottom is, of where the collector is is. Uh, got insta set on it and up here is how shiny it's supposed to be so i'm gonna have to do some touching up with the brush and make that look better because i can't uh can't stand that um are we done i think we are done um there's nothing done on the body so this is going to be a two update video one called chassis that's this one and one called vinyl where i uh, paint the uh, body black. I've gotten started a little bit. As you can see, the inside of the uh, fender flares I've done with a uh, magic marker. Reason being, as you're when you're spray painting, sometimes it's really hard to get the spray paint way up into a fender well, and so I painted those before I even glued them on. I painted them with a marker, that marker. And the rest of this is going to be pretty interesting. This uh, the headache rack is going to be. Um, the anodized red and the whole body is going to be black shiny black shiny glossy black with you know the same little tiny highlights as you would see on the frame with the anodized red on the some of the components um, it is going to have that reaction on the chrome plated parts is going to be on the um, grill and the bumpers 
and so it is going to be rather exciting. Um, but for now, it is just a really good looking frame. And on this leaf, for I think the rest of the month here, I'm going to have to set this aside because I'm going to switch to the Ming group build and get that airplane done because I have a idea for it, which of course is going to take extra time. And then we'll come back to this and finish it up. But uh, yeah, I hope you're getting a kick out of that, Ron. And it will be done uh, sooner or later, and it's going to be nice. So thanks for watching, everybody. And see you next time.